You're gonna turn the light on, right? Yes. Ready? Okay, what do I do? Turn on. So you guys heard me say that she went to the dark side, so I brought my lightsaber. Taking her out. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. I got a lightsaber, damn it! Whew. All right. <laughs> if you missed my last video, then you need to check it out. Just got my new helmet, and this is the video that we were talking about in installing a calm system. It's gonna be boring. I understand if you say, okay, yeah, not interested, bye-bye. But if you are interested, here you go. Here's us installing the comm system. There you go. All right. Um, okay, so we have the Harley Davidson. This is the what? It's called the Frill, F-R-I-L-L. -L. I don't know if that's necessary, but the air fit. I know when I was there talking to Leather, she kept saying this is the air fit. So I'm gonna open up and take a look. I seriously have not opened this yet. <laughs> she, she took it out when we were there, but I haven't actually opened and looked yet. So I'll give you guys a little stand here. So, See how long I struggle to open. And not drop it, right? <sighs> because once you drop it, it's yours, as the sign says. Oh, it's like Christmas. Okay. So, if you didn't see my video, you didn't see that this is the one that I chose. Um, it is not the modular one. Um, it is actually a full face and a medium, the medium fit me. So I'm normally in a small um, for a half helmet, but uh, medium is the best fit for when it comes to, to the full face. Okay, so if you didn't see my last video, as I just said, it's an air fit helmet, meaning it has bladders on the inside. There is a red button here. It's cloth, but you can fill it and you, you're able to pump up. And what it's doing is it's filling the bladders on this, each side of the helmet. And that way you get a nice good fit around here. Um, and that's, that's to protect you know, your head. So Amy with Stevie Foe YouTube channel commented on my last video and said, what happens if you get into an accident? Are they gonna know uh, that there's a release, which is off to the side, to let the air out and be able to easily remove the helmet off of your head? <laughs> which thanks Amy, I hadn't even thought about that. Now I'm like, I need to look into that. So I'm seeing here, um, it says emergency. You can, and I'm pulling these. That's going to probably release the bladders to be to allow you to remove the helmet. So thanks, Amy. Figure that one out. There's also a warning on the side of it. Okay. Sunny says there is always secure fasten chin strap when wearing helmet. Nope. Go to the other side. Okay. Or need to remove that sticker. And emergency use only pull red emergency stop for cheek pad release. There you go. Instructions on the side. <laughs> okay, next for Sinister Clutch, I asked him because he said, Yeah, it'll be great once you break it in. <laughs> My question is, How long is that? How long does it take to break in a helmet? So I'm kind of curious if you guys have like an idea. Um, how long did it take for you guys to break your helmet in? It's a good thing to know. Body okay. Also has an inside shield. I gotta figure out how to maneuver this thing. That flips down. And uh, what Leather was saying, you could actually 
or Brandy, one of them was saying, you can remove this outer part and just keep that in your bag. And then when it's raining and you want the, the bigger shield on, you can do that. So you just got a nice little cover here. So that's good. That helps with getting some extra wind. I would prefer to have kept the half helmet just because it's hotter here in Florida all year round. And when I did the pros and cons, I'm a list maker, so the pros were kind of outweighing the cons. Hopefully this works, but one of the big pros was going to be, a, well, actually a couple things, would be the ability to be able to hear Sonny now because it'll be, my head will be fully enclosed in here so I can actually hear him talking to me when we communicate back and forth. And the second thing is motovlogging and having a mic because on the half helmet, my mic, um, you could up here is where you would talk and it would take in the sound. What is that called? The mic. <laughs> it is the mic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so the mic would be up here. And now what we'll do is we're actually going to mount it. Am I correct, Sunny? That we're gonna mount the mic here in this area. And I won't have all the wind now because this will be blocking it. So I hope that solves that issue. I won't have to scream because I feel like I'm screaming to be able to be heard uh, when I've got that half, half helmet. My, back, my, my bike's too loud. My pipes are too loud. <laughs> Which I'm not getting rid of the pipes. I'm keeping the pipes. I like my loud pipes. All right, next I'm going to turn it over to Sonny and he is going to show you the comm system that we're putting in and how he's installing it. Here you go, honey. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> all right, thanks for sending all the work to me. So now that she's done with all the fun foo foo stuff, I got to actually go to work and put the comm system in her helmet. So... I've never put a comm system like this in. All the ha helmets we've always had were Senna's and they had everything already built into them. So um, I'm going to put my first comm system in a helmet. This should be interesting. I wanna tell you about the comm system though. So it is FOD Sports. Can you see that? Is it focusing? All right, anyway guys, and it's the FX8. Uh, a little bit about this. A few months ago, someone reached out to me on Facebook and said, hey, um, can we send these to you? Will you try them out? Um, they sent it to me to the wrong address. I chased it for like a week. Anyway, as I'm communicating with the guy, he's like, I'm leaving the company and I don't really have a connection to the company at all now. Uh, but I got this a few months ago. I just never had a use for it. So now I have a use for it. We're gonna give this a try. Um, I don't recommend it yet because I've not used it yet. Um, so you guys kind of get to experience the whole thing from the install of it all the way to how's it work, how can we hear, how are the videos, all of that. So one thing I do want to do though is I want to give you some of the specs here. So I'm going to try to read these to you with no light. So it is up to eight grouping intercom. So you can connect eight riders. Um, it's a thousand meters talking distance with two riders. It pairs with three Bluetooth devices. It has an FM radio, voice command, voice prompt function, CVC digital noise reduction function, anti-noise mic, waterproof design, and it has 20 hours of working time. Wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> wireless full duplex intercom. Automatically answers incoming calls, support connection of mobile MP3 stereo music, peripherals audio interface, suitable under all weather conditions, suitable for full or half face helmets, easy to install, easy to handle with glove wearing. We'll see how easy it is to install. But anyway, guys, that is it. We're going to install it and then we're going to test it out and see what we think of it. So let's start installing. All right, guys, so I've already unboxed it. So here's all the pieces. Now let's see if we can get all those pieces in that helmet on her head. <laughs> yes, I've got the destructions out because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so 
The first thing I would say is in the instructions, you should probably tell people how to actually mount this to the helmet. Um, I'm sure I'll figure it out because there's a little bracket here, but I would think that'd be like a really good, this is how we suggest you actually connect this to your helmet. Um, seems like a really good plan to me. It only says operational manual. Yeah, so it's not an actual installation manual. I don't know why you wouldn't include that. So that would be the first thing I would recommend. You just go to YouTube. <laughs> watch a video like this to figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys. So I did a little bit of uh, investigating um, myself uh, to figure out how this works because there's no instructions on actually how to put it together. But anyway, I figured it out. Imagine that. So this little clip hooky thingy actually slides into this piece. And this piece, of course, is what connects um, your actual comm system hooks to this. And then they've sent these neat little 3M rubber pieces that go between this piece and your helmet. Because the little clip, the little clip just slides up inside your helmet here. You kind of pick what side you want it on, and then you just slide it into place. And there it is, slides into place. Of course, your comm mounts right there. And then, of course, you've got these speakers that's got to go in each ear, um, which we will do next. All right, guys, so the 3M piece they have is actually a double sticky, so it'll stick it in place. So I've got to have Mama Badger put it on her head and figure out where she wants that to sit at um, before I take and hide all the wires for the speakers. So we're gonna mom bad to try it on and tell us. Let me make, make sure, sure you release your bladder. Release the bladder. <laughs> release the bladder. I like to release my bladder before a trip too. <laughs> your buttons are on top. Yeah. Does that look like a good location? Yeah. Let me see what it's like. Well, there'll be some scenarios like taking it off, right? Taking it off. What if I'm pulling it off? <laughs> you didn't push your bladders, did you? No. Okay. My earrings. Okay. It wasn't, I wasn't bumping it with my no. hand to try to. Well, and it'll be more stable once I get it locked down too. Yeah. So. I don't see it in the way. Okay, now that we know where we're gonna be placing it, whew, Lord, um, then he can put the speakers in the right spot. So we'll stick it down and put the speakers in. All right, sticking that mother in place. Hi right, guys, so I got it stuck on there with the double-sided 3M sticky tape. So that should be much more secure now. Now I've got to take and hide all the cords. All right, so we got side one in. Now I'm gonna finish hiding the wire over here to side two and see if we can make it work. One of the big things was I tried it on just to make sure that it had the right place. The first time it was really pushing right here and now he moved it so it's in a better spot. So make sure your speakers are put in a place that's going to be comfortable. Hi right, guys, so this came with an actual extra extension. If you need an extra extension, it of course has a boom mic too. We just used the little mic that it came with and Velcroed it to the inside of her mouthpiece. We'll see how that works. Um, you know, all in all, the install was pretty simple. So as long as it works when we plug it all in, um, we'll be winning. So the biggest challenge was just figuring out how to mount the bracket um, since there was no directions. But otherwise, it was pretty simple. We'll see if it works, and that'll tell us whether it was actually simple or not. So. It's, it's been a bit, and it's still... We can still, probably turn it on. It's still in the red over there, so make sure you give yourself enough time to... Charge it up. Get it charged up. All right. Um, once we get it charged up, 
we'll test it a little bit and then we'll uh, do some motor vlogs with it, ride with it a little bit, make sure yeah, it's a good, good product. Um, from what I've seen, they're pretty inexpensive. So if this actually works, I'll probably be a big fan. I want to say thank you to my husband <laughs> for helping me install this because I couldn't have done it without you. And um, hey, hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. If you didn't, hit that subscribe button. If the video sucked, hit the subscribe button so you can watch all our sucky videos. <laughs> ring the bell. Why? Why did I ring the bell? So that you get notified every time we upload a crappy video. There you go. And comments, good or bad. <laughs> we don't care. I answer them all. All right. Thank you so much. Um, we have more fun, crazy videos that we really hope you do continue to watch. And also, don't forget, guys, join our movement. Um, go to supportbikers.com and get yourself on the map. Yeah. And... Join us on the World Record Boga Run. Absolutely, you don't want to miss at that. It, if 2021. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's night for us. So have a good day. Night night. We see you later. <laughs> we go bye. bye bye. It's not about the destination. It's all about the ride. See ya. Bye guys. Oh look, we got baby, <laughs> baby badger, badger in the background. Right in the background. <laughs> we got a bye bye and, and kisses <laughs> and blowing kisses. Yeah, there look you at go. you guys. There's my future. Future rider here. Bike is chic. <laughs>